So let me tell you a little bit about, about Kirsha. Kirsha was just 29 years old at the time of this wreck. She's 32 now. She's originally from Florida. And what makes Kirsha so special really is her caregiver's heart. <laughs> and really from a young age as a little girl, she's always been that way, taking care of others, being there for others, being patient, being compassionate. You'll hear from her family, you'll hear from people who know her that will say she's always been like that. And in fact, she kind of fell into her passion because several years ago, her great-grandmother was getting a bit up there in age and she needed someone to have some in-home care for her. And so out of everyone in the family, you know who stepped up? It was Kirsha in her early 20s. And she took care of her grand great-grandmother up until she passed away at the age of 110 years old. And she realized, this is what I want to do. I enjoy doing this. And so she got her CNA certification, and she's been doing that since, since then, and up until the day of this collision. And she actually had aspirations before this collision occurred of getting more clients, potentially doing it full time, as in the day she worked as a substitute teacher at that particular time, but she wanted to do it full time. That's how much she enjoyed it. But what you're gonna learn in this case is that when this impact occurred, her dreams of being a CNA, they were shattered. Like dropping a vase on the ground, shattered. And what you'll learn is that when that armored truck collided with her, that's exactly what happened to the long bone in her right arm. It was shattered. And that's what her doctor is going to say. It was shattered. And He's going to testify in this case by video deposition that he's told her it's no longer in your best interest to be a CNA or work in any similar medical field. It's not good for you. It's not good for your patients. And she hasn't done it since. And she's going to tell you that it really hurts.